Welcome back to Star Ocean. Here we go. Engage gravitic warp. Engaging gravitic warp. Disc two starting. I think I got my color issues figured out. Our long got my recording issues hopefully figured ship. out. Fast got my microphone issues all figured out. Ship registration. And we're gonna dive right back into the story, Ellie, right into this too. So battleship. sit back, relax, a enjoy. Battleship? What is a Federation battleship doing out here? Could they be after us? The only difference I may have is that I'm gonna get probably. A little ahead or behind, I'm noticing that the recording rate of the game is Full a little stop. off from Display the record the rate of my screen. video camera. Roger. Doing the best I can with what I got. Roger. Until I get a computer that's actually fully powered and able to really deal with some of the stuff that I do. This is Commodore Whitcomb, These will be some of the challenges that we deal with, but I'll try to line up these things as best I can, but a pardon Likewise, and apologize for any off-set audio for my video versus what's going on with the game. <laughs> I'm flattered you'd remember my name. But first things first, that's Dr. Line God's son standing behind you, correct? Yes, it is. Well, what I'm about to say will no doubt come as a surprise. She's getting There's comfortable. No time for details now. Got a lot of story to go through here. Go on. A Vendini ship is approaching you. Our analysts believe they will not attack. So we expect the same of you. None of us want there to be any hostilities. What are you talking about? How could you possibly know that the Vendini will not attack? Because right? Are you a prognosticator? Captain, our sensors have picked up the Vendini ship. They're sending out a transmission. I'm not wasting any time. Switch signals. This is Captain Bwig of the Vendine Empire ship Dasvanu. Captain Bigwig, I mean Bwig. And submit to our orders. Nice to meet you too. Dr. Linegard, enemy of the galaxy, and the girl are in our hands. Wow, that's a you hell of a title. No enemy of the galaxy. Our ah, they got us help, help, help. Dad! Sophia! What do you want with my father? We have but a single demand. You must exchange Line God's son for Dr. Line God. Exchange me for my father? And the method of exchange? I suppose we don't trust one another enough to transport them between our ships. Oh, come on. Where's that trust scenario? We will reach your location in a few ah. Further orders will be issued at that point. You will stand by until then. Hmm. Marietta, we'll be Mr. Winkley's signal chair to the there. Done. Just crowd me. I heard everything. So that's the situation. Dr. Lingard's safety is paramount. As long as they hold him, we are unable to attack. I suppose you're right. Commodore, just how much do the Federation and Vendini really know? About what? Don't play dumb with me. You wouldn't Don't be trying to get Dr. Linegod, let alone Fate, unless you had some sort of information on them. I suspect our intentions are not that different from your own. As for the Vendini, yeah, I'm yeah, not sure yeah. what they want. But I do have my suspicions. I see. So, what you gonna do? You gonna give him up without a fight? You gotta be kidding. What you gonna do when I they come for you? I still have things I wanna ask my father. Sure. Don't worry, Fate. I won't let them have you or your father. I won't stand for that. Maria. Do. No. As long as you can secure Dr. Linegod. The Aqua Ellie will be able to deal with the Vendini ship. Hi. <laughs> the timing of the hostage exchange. Yes, I'm a little bored during key. story segments. Sorry. No but... doubt they will specify a neutral location for the exchange. I'm not sure what we'll do then. We'll have to think of something. Think of something? We'll be flying by the seat of our pants. Not much else. Oh, no, I love flying do. by the seat of my We've pants. We've no time, and the cards oh. are stacked against us. 
Just Guess it's better than flying in the seat of no pants at all. <laughs> Suppose so, but... Give it your best shot. I place it in your hands. Well, we aren't doing this for you, you know. Nevertheless, right. Dr. Leingott and the boy must not fall into Vendini hands. Right. I imagine it will not be much longer until we arrive. Sit tight until then. All right. Best of luck to you. Okay. So now we're just waiting. Help my father, no matter More what story. It takes. I know. Remember, I have some unfinished business with him. We won't fail to free your father. <laughs> <laughs> I can hardly wait. I'm glad you're on my side. You know it. Yeah, damn straight. Yeah. Fate's like, I'm bored. I need something to do. Ah, here we go. I'll just sit I in this chair. Is holding up well. This has to be hard on her. It has to be hard on everybody. Captain, we're receiving a transmission from the Datsvanu. On screen. The exchange will take place on the planet you are orbiting. On Elacor? We're going back to that rock again? No! And no heroics. The Dasvanu sent the coordinates. 147.5834. 34.8874. Location? Right away. Hey, isn't that... <laughs> oh, yeah. You've been <laughs> there? Yep, sure have. Not good memories either. And we're going back, unfortunately. Look familiar, everybody? Yeah, we've been there. Transport at the specified time. And I repeat, no heroics. No heroics. Understood. Yeah. We'll hold you to that as well. We'll exchange fate for Dr. Leingod and the Esteed's daughter. That's the deal. Yes, that is the deal. We can only transport six at Screw a time. These guys. Their capacity shouldn't be any different. Most likely. Well, I guess mm -hmm. six should be enough. Mm -hmm. Remember, they've got my yeah. father. Whatever you do, be careful. You're such a worry ward. Put a little more trust in me. I trust you. Yeah, really it is do. you. It's just... It's you. <laughs> Don't worry. It'll be okay. Believe me. We'll get everyone back safely. Maria. Okay. Mirage, prepare to transport us down. Roger, Captain. I'll go with you. Hey, Steve, you're coming too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Trust Steeg, do we? Don't even know this guy. Landcar, you read Who the me? hell is Steeg? What's up, Maria? Ready three combat What's personnel. Up? <laughs> equipment level A. You pick the team. They'll transport down with us. Level A? This must be serious. It is. Our suits are no match for the disruptor rifles the Vendini use, but they're better than nothing. Got it. I'll have them ready ASAP. I'm counting on you. I think we're all counting on each other at this point. All right, here we go. Getting ready to go get Dad and Maria back. What or is not it? Maria, but uh, Sophia. There's been a while. You really are Quark's leader. Not too sharp, are you? I've been telling you that from the start. <clears throat> I know, it's just Duh. that... Yeah, whatever. There's still some time before we transport down. So you're free until then. There's nothing I need you for right now. I'll make an announcement when it's time to go. Okay. 
this is going to be a very interesting edit at this point considering and at that point I think I will call this a break before I get too much work but I'm about 10 seconds ahead um, even though the recording started at the same time I am now 10 seconds ahead of what's going on with the game so any rate we'll see how this edit goes hopefully it's very good we're back with Star Ocean finally after all this time I know you guys have been waiting patiently and hopefully we will get to continue in the meantime gamer and game we'll see you on my next run later <laughs>